Hey everybody, Dustin Dale's back here once again. I'm at the Funny Bone Comedy Club, 168th in Dodge, which is Village Point Mall, right out by the theater. Go next to the theater, take a left. You're right there, top floor. Can't miss this. Funny Bone Comedy Club. This weekend, we've got Reno Collier. He's been on NBC. He's been on Animal Planet. You've seen him all over the place. Uh, so make sure you come out this weekend and check him out. There's a game going on in town, and there's also a big show by the name of Reno Collier going on. So Reno, how you doing, bud? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for uh, for doing this. This is fun. No problem, man. I'm I'm glad to see you here. You, I've been I've been watching you for a while ever since your first tour with Larry the Cable Guy. So I, I've I've been a little bit of a fan of yours for some time now. Yeah, he. Uh, I used to let him tour with me. Um, I and I, as a matter of fact, he'd get nervous, so I'd let him go second, and I just go out and do like a little bit of time, and then I'd let him go up and try to work on. I mean, you clearly you could see it was new material, because it wasn't you know. That's very nice of you. Yeah, I'm just a good come a giver. I'm You're a, good a nice, guy. good giver. I did the same thing with Foxworthy and Ron White and Bill Ingvall. I'm just a good guy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it was fun. That's what they've been saying. I've, I've been hearing that you're nothing but nice. They, they, all these guys approach you to tour with you, and then all of a sudden you turn it over to them. You're a nice guy. Well, I mean, clearly I was selling the tickets, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I even I even gave him a commercial doing heartburn stuff. You know what I mean? I'm that kind of guy. I even gave Jeff a thing where he could dress up in lederhosen and sell Golden Corral. He sells Golden Corral, and then that gives people heartburn, and then Larry sells them the heartburn medicine. It's kind of a perfect win-win for those guys. And you put Larry in one of your movies too, right? I put him in a couple of movies. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I put the two movies. I did. I, I put him in, and I even gave him the lead, which I don't. I mean, I don't know. I, I just I love Nebraska, mm -hmm. and I wanted to help the Huskers, you know. So I I went ahead and I gave him the lead, and I, I paid him. An exorbitant amount of money <laughs> compared to what I got paid, and uh, yeah, it was kind of hard to write the check, but mm. yeah, I went ahead and uh, I took care of him. I'm, you know, I'm a people person. Very good people person. I like that. Yeah. Now, yeah. you were also did some time on NBC a while back. What was your time like on NBC, and what'd you do for it? I had a I hosted a show called Great American Road Trip that was a blast, man. And it was uh, we traveled all of Route 66 with seven families and RVs and stopped at national landmarks and they competed against each other and it was really cool man i honestly i don't know as far as nbc and los angeles they were the coolest people mm. i worked for so give me a call you know i'm <laughs> really not doing that much now i'm at the funny bone so get another season going yeah no <laughs> kid no it, it really was it was a cool show and they let us do unbelievable stuff and they spent the money it was really it was really fun it what was were good. some of the challenges that these people would do on the road um like we stopped in st louis at the arch Mm -hmm. So then they set up a ton of different arches, and they had there was a mom, a dad, and two kids, and they take tethered balls, and then you'd have to work your way all the way through them to get to the end. They had um, racing championships. We did stuff in Branson. I mean, we we stopped so much I can't even begin. The coolest thing was we started at, at Wrigley Field, mm -hmm. and I got to walk out from the outfield through the ivy. All by myself, the stadium's completely empty, and they're filling me with helicopters. And I'm walking out, and I was just going, don't fall, don't fall. Because they were saying how expensive it was to have the helicopter. I'm like, don't fall, don't fall. But in my head, I was because I played baseball, I'm, I'm imagining like them going, bring in the righty. You know, and I'm walking in. And then they had me, like, Pope waving. Mm -hmm. They're like, just act like you're waving. <laughs> but there's nobody in the state. But it, the whole thing was completely empty, and I'm just walking through the thing, like, you know. Hey, but, but, it, but it was such a long walk, like, from, from mm -hmm. center, right center field all the way to the pitcher's mound. It was really cool, but. I was so nervous. That was the first TV show I ever had, too. So it's an NBC primetime, you know. It was really fun. Now, since then, you've also worked on some other shows. You did a show for Animal Planet as yeah. well. I did a show called Top Hooker that I hosted that was an extreme fishing show. <laughs> um, yeah, people are like, Top Hooker? My mom's Not the like, Top Hooker on HBO. That's yeah, a different one. <laughs> yeah, my mom's like, what? And I'm like, she's like, you're Scottish. That's never going to come off. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was really fun. And that was... We had fishing out of hot air balloons, and it was crazy. It was fun, though. That, that was great. You know, all my shows last one season. So if anybody has a show they only want to work for one year, call me and I'll host it because it'll be gone. There's always a chance for multiple seasons. Just give them a call. Yeah, just, no, no, no. I'm just a one-season guy. That's it. <laughs> if I do your show. I did the Martin Short show when he had it on. One week later, canceled. I did Years ago, I did a Politically Incorrect. One week later, Bill Mars said whatever he said canceled gone <laughs> like i'm serious if you have something you just want to do for a short time or you want to get out of your contract put me on it because apparently i will end it reno the destroyer the destroyer <laughs> yeah not conan reno i could destroy conan too i meant conan the destroyer but yeah. it came out conan yeah he's not on nbc anymore you guys don't care you did you did a roast as well you roasted larry the cable guy now were some of the did 
Did you write all those jokes yourself, or did you have some help on those? I wrote all mine myself. They gave me other jokes to say, but uh, but um, I didn't. I couldn't be mean to the guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're like brothers, you know. Like I couldn't. I couldn't bash him. So some of the stuff they gave me, I'm like, I'm not saying that about my friend. You know, I don't care if it's TV or not. Like I'm not gonna. I did make fun of him, but it was mainly stuff that that we were that we both knew, and you know, like those things can get really. Yeah brutal they're funny i mean they're, they're hilarious they're absolutely hilarious but i knew there were enough guys that were going to hammer them that there should be a little bit of love in there jeff was the same way like kind of like you know let's not the guy's going to get destroyed anyway and he was gutsy enough to put himself up there so you know now there were some other roasters up there was there somebody on the dais that was maybe a little bit more fun or a little easier to roast because you, you knew where to go easier to roast well lisa lampanelli's easy to roast um and and uh, well, Gary Busey. <laughs> I sat in between Toby Keith and Gary Busey, and I knew Toby from, like, mm-hmm. USO. I do a lot of USO stuff. So we were sitting there talking, drinking, and Gary Busey, and I'm going to have to clean this up for <laughs> TV and not say exactly what was said. But the bar is real, right? So mm-hmm. me and Toby are sitting there drinking, doing shots and everything, and Gary Busey, and for those of you that don't know, he's deaf in one ear, mm-hmm. and he's complete like that, that is real. <laughs> like, that, like when you, that's not a character on TV, right? So we're sitting there drinking beers or whatever, and Gary walks in between us and he looks at Toby and goes, Toby Keith, I'm Gary Busey. And Toby's like, whoa, hey, Gary, how you doing? And he's like, next year, sidelines, Texas, Oklahoma football game, me and you together. And Toby's like, all right, Gary. And he's like, my whole life's like football. Sometimes I get the flag thrown. Sometimes they hit me in the head. Sometimes they kick me out of bound. And Toby said, get away from me, you and he can't hear anything, and he looks at me, and he goes, what did he say? And I said, he said he wants to take you to the football game. He's like, right on! <laughs> oh, man, I wish I could have been on that uh, set. It was, a ble- it was the weirdest group of people, because it was like Marsha Brady, Warren Sapp, like it, it, Gary Busey. It's like when you, when you drink too much NyQuil and you have a dream, <laughs> and it's like I'm just mixed up with all these weird people, and we're drinking beer and making fun of each other. It was a bizarre thing, but it was fun. Now, football's coming back. Do you have a football team that you pull for? I'm a West Virginia fan. Okay, West Virginia. Yeah. They're, they're not too bad. They, we're not good. <laughs> you know, ever since we moved to the Big 12, it's it's we don't have our rivalries anymore, mm-hmm. and we can't travel. I mean, you know, we play, like, Texas and Oklahoma. We're way over. I live in Tennessee, but we're way over on the East Coast, basically. And we got to travel, you know, back and forth every week to these Big 12 schools. It's a tough – it's hard. I can you know? imagine. Yeah, and West Virginia is not the wealthiest state, so <laughs> when you look at those away games, it's like, good God. Yeah, all those Texas schools. Yeah. Oh, they travel anywhere. And then when they play at WVU, you know, there's orange everywhere, and it just, you know, they go after it. But it's uh, we're getting used to it. I mean, Holgerson's an Oklahoma State guy, so he, I think he understands kind of the way that a lot of those coaches run, but we'll see. How do you think they're going to finish the season? Uh, I'm thinking they're going to lose to Texas. Uh, Texas looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, man, if, if they can – if they, we just sneak into some toilet bowl <laughs> every year. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. It's like at the end of the year, it's like, hey, it's the Walmart stupid, you know, whatever. <laughs> the Walmart bowl. aisle three bowl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Not aisle four, not aisle two. <laughs> yeah. It's nothing but home goods and sheets. It's the home goods and sheets Walmart Bowl. Yeah, where are we playing it? At Albemarle High School. And, you know, so. We'll that, that might be where Nebraska ends up, too. We barely made it to one last year. We only made it in because our academics got us there last year. Your academics? Yeah, like, we technically we didn't qualify, but since we tied with so many schools, they went on academics. And since we're a good academic school, we barely got into a bowl game. So we might end up in that same Omar L3 bowl with you. Okay, West Virginia's <laughs> not going to have that happen. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen Pac-Man Jones and the other players that have come out of WVU, but if there's even a spelling bee, <laughs> they'll drop us three losses. <laughs> you just lost 15 scholarships because your quarterback can't spell it. <laughs> but I still root for him, by God. Oh, man. His name is Reno Collier. Make sure you come out this weekend and check him out. He'll be here all weekend long. So make sure you come out and check out one of the shows we got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So make sure you come check it out. You also work on an album, right? Yeah, uh, Warner Brothers. It's going to come out uh, here pretty soon now. It's already edited, and so we're just waiting for it to pop out and uh, see what happens. Very cool. I'm looking forward to checking it out oh, and ho- thanks, looking forward man. to checking your show out this Dude, weekend. thank you for having me. Yeah, it was great meeting you. Make sure you check him out this weekend. Reno Collier, Funny Bone Comedy Club, 168th in Dodge, Village Point Mall. You don't want to miss it. Check it out.